UTPA, Dimitri Hernandez here with another edition of the Weekly Review, a look into what's going on in your community and around your campus. So let's get started. A new music venue has opened up in Edinburgh. Elizabeth Espinosa has more. Hey guys, Elizabeth Espinosa here for the Pan American. Looking for something to do on a weekend night? Well, come on and check down the spark plug located one block east of the courthouse. So let's go inside and see what it's about. We just flat out like music. It's a whole bunch of our buddies that get together and we come out and it's not even work for us. It's just having a good time. There's always live bands every Saturday. We also have industrial nights on Fridays occasionally. Any age is welcome as long as we follow curfew and law. The bands take the stage next to the windows that overlook University Drive to attract bystanders. This style of performance imitates Austin's music scene. Their garage band feel venue offers music of all genres from metal to indie. I try to make music kind of like Coldplay. I try to write towards that. He, he likes making folk music. We really enjoy playing here because we're allowed to play whatever we want. There's no boundaries. Liquor is not allowed to avoid conflict between audience members as so often in the club scene. Soft drinks and snacks are available for all the music attendees instead. We try to keep it very uh, inexpensive because I've been there when I was a kid and I wanted to go out to a venue and see some jams. It's, it can get pricey really quickly. Well, it's closing time for the Spark Plug venue. The last one is playing right now and I hope you guys had fun checking it out. Come by any Friday and Saturday, 9 p.m. till 2 a.m. at 224 East University Drive. For more information, call Chris Rodriguez at 956-789-1780. Elizabeth Espinosa for the Pan American. Thank you, Elizabeth. And on another note, are any of you students looking for gourmet pizza at an affordable price? Well, Angela Sanchez has more. With over 20 pizzerias in the valley, McAllen has taken a twist on the traditional pizzerias around town with Russo's New York Pizzeria. With a calm atmosphere, Italian music, and calm, dim lighting, it provides a great social outlet for students. Like I said, our ambiance is really nice. I mean, a lot of people just like to come here and lounge. Uh, I mean, we have people that come in here and eat, and they'll just stick around and have a good conversation. General Manager Eduardo Gutierrez recommends the giant slice of pizza being around 12 inches, filling any appetite. Along with their lunch discounts and wine down Wednesdays, people can come and enjoy great food along with their delicious beverages such as a tall glass of lemonade or iced tea for the younger folks, an assortment of wine for the adults. Stuff that's uh, really affordable, uh, especially during our lunch hour. I mean, we have stuff that's like six fifty for a giant slice, a salad, or a soup. Russo's Pizzeria serves their pizza from a brick oven, not a traditional seal oven like other pizzas located in McAllen. This interesting style of baking a pizza absorbs the moisture from the dough and it provides a better tasting pizza for customers. The difference in the brick oven is actually the temperature. Uh, I mean our temperature ranges from like 525 degrees and basically what the stone does different than steel. It kind of sucks up the moisture from the actual dough so uh, it gives it a way much better texture. Like come out fresh and customers can watch Russo's chef toss the dough through the open kitchen. Buyers must know that there is a 10 to 15 waiting period. Students that are in a hurry and need to get back to class should stick closer to the campus. Russo's New York Pizzeria is located on 10th Street in McAllen. Open Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And Sundays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. For more information, go to www.nypizzeria.com. For the Pan American, I'm Angela Sanchez, and this has been Bronx Bites. With all that talk of food, it's time now for our Health Beat with Victoria Viela. Hello Bronx, Victoria Viela here for the Pan American. With summer at its end, the fall semester is in full swing, and with it comes a flow of eager freshmen ready to experience so-called college life, which offers many temptations. For example, the freedom to eat whatever you'd like, whenever you'd like it. Piling on food at the college cafeteria, indulging in salty snacks and fast food can take a toll on the body and can lead to the dreaded weight gain known as the freshman 15. Although the term suggests that you will gain 15 pounds, 
studies have shown that on average, a college student will gain 3 to 10 pounds during their first two years of college. Dr. Adianwe, dietetics professor at UTPA, gives us some insight as to why this weight gain occurs. Change of environment, you know, brings about stress. And sometimes, you know, that can lead to you not taking care of yourself or paying attention to what you consume. You have already developed a good nutritional knowledge or <clears throat> you know how to uh, balance your intake with your output which is really the trust behind nutrition what you are eating and that agree with the level of activity you are evolving you also you are always going to maintain college is a time of change and adaptation school and work will bring loads of stress causing students to overeat late night parties involving alcohol will be a setback and the lack of exercise due to the amount of schoolwork and other social casualties can increase the amount of weight one gains. Be conscious of what you eat and try to stay healthy this coming semester. For the Pan American, I'm Victoria Viela. Well, it's time now to say goodbye. This has been another edition of the Weekly Review. But don't forget to like the Pan American on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any story suggestions, feel free to email us at thepanamerican at gmail.com. For the Pan American, I'm Dimitri Hernandez.